Hello everyone, Local Force here. As you can see, there's a big blob of black in the middle. We're missing some bits of track. And there's a platform extension going on down here. So, uh, yeah, time for a layout update for August of 2020. So, I'll just be right back. guys so obviously big change going on here i was going to do a whole video on it but i just well it's still being edited but i don't think it'll do well so i just thought you know what i'll just put out a layout update today uh, i'm back at work so progress has been surprisingly fast considering um so yeah i ripped out all of the greenery that was in the middle here i ripped out the road that was in the middle here and um, yeah, I've started painting it over in black. It's starting to cover. It's going to take a lot more paint. Um, but then I'll be adding on road. I don't want it to be perfect. I don't think roads are perfect or paving, tarmac, whatever. So I'll be putting on some road markings eventually. As you can see, there's a new area of gravel over here. This is what will become my nuclear flask depot in the future. So I've got to put up a load of fencing around it. And I'm going to build a crane at some point that will sit just in the middle here, so I might need to extend this out further uh, to fit the crane. Then obviously I'll get, as most people probably do, Dapol 68 and a nuclear flask wagon. Um, so if I take you over this way, you can see that um, there's some track missing here. This is because I tore it out so I could redo the level crossing I had, well, level crossing, it was just some painted black. So I'm going to try and do this properly. Um, I'm going to have to put something under here so the track's at the same height because there's ballast underlay. Then I'm probably going to get some scale model scenery kits so I can actually make the crossing look all right. Um, so yeah, we have three track crossing with the line going into the depot and then the two main lines. Um, if I take you around the front of this, uh, we're finally getting a front put on, the other piece of it is around somewhere, so that will be glued on the front just over here at some point. Uh, here we have a some bits of wood that are actually the extension to my platform. I thought I'd make it a little bit longer, so it will actually go up to here, and the bit you guys have normally seen is upstairs as I'm doing some work on it. So, I've got some Backman uh, shelters, very nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to possibly do a video covering how I uh, detailed these guys up. Um, I think that might actually be it for this area. Um, so yeah, uh, just to do a bit of explaining about the station, if you guys know about Western Milton Station, it's a station on the Western Supermare branch line which is in the, within the region that I'm modelling. Uh, it's a one platform station and passenger trains go either way on it because it is only single track. So my excuse for only having the one platform is it's like Western Milton basically. This inner loop here is for passenger trains as well as the nuke train. Then this outer line is for engineering trains and freight trains only. So it's like a diversionary route, let's say. So that is what is going on here. Right, I'll take you guys upstairs now and take a look at what I've been doing with some scale model scenery kits right, I have. So we are now up at the workbench. Well, workbench up in my room got a few things to show you so I'm going to do some upgrades to my platform I've added a post with a help point on it which I think came out quite well um, don't know if it will focus but uh, yeah it's a help point on there oh, that's pretty cool and I've also added some anti trespass down the bottom here and of course we've got another one of the Barkwind shelters so my plan for this now is to add some yellow fencing down the end here and you know some do not cross sign and do not trespass bloody blah that type of stuff and then I also have this vending machine which I was working on this morning which will possibly yeah will probably sit around there and then of course we've got the rest of that platform to detail up which is downstairs the other thing I got recently was this Badger Line bus. It's a uh, VAT, if you're into the buses. I got this because 
it just ran around the area I model, so Taun no, sorry, not Taunton. It ran it ran around Western Supermare, basically. And obviously I do Western Supermare. It might not be the right era, but it's a bus and I don't really mind. It looks cool. And I'll probably get a couple more for the bus station that will be around the back of the station. Um I do have some I do have a kit for building the bus stations, but it's just not going well, so I'm probably going to buy some instead, which I think is a much smarter idea. Uh, so yeah, that's just about it for the last month. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick update, and I will uh, see you again next Monday uh, with a video of something. I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> right, see you guys then. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.